Hi guys, it's Wednesday. I'm your superstar host, DAPS. Let's get the news started. First on the news, guys, Runtown Sun may be blind. So I hope not. I hope it does not happen. Please, God, I beg. Taking us back to how the medical system in Nigeria is very terrible and Africa at large. And also talking about how the vice president of Nigeria had to do a surgery in Nigeria and a lot of Nigerians had to come for him because he did it in a private hospital. But that's just by the way, Ron Town's wife in a series of IG posts narrates how it all went down. She also came from the angle of how a female child can be less stressful than a male child. Well, mm, it depends, it depends. But male kids tend to be a little bit rough and female kids a little bit like soft and you understand what i mean but let me know what you think do you think male children are actually more stressful than female children well i think i think it goes both ways some female children can be like super strong well that's just by the way guys up next we have heard this before i will see if the president would hold any water the president of the federal republic of nigeria has given the education minister two weeks to sort out the five months strike by asu but you know the funny thing a lot of students are celebrating right now but one thing you guys are forgetting is sanu and nasu are still on strike will you go to school with the toilet unwashed or there is no light so don't celebrate just yet but i think i think this is just we've heard this from the president countless times and nothing has really been done but students had something to say and a couple of nigerians had something to say about this first is that says always giving instructions without doing nothing my god this is your president you need to respect your president you know what i mean then the next person says two weeks is too much two hours should be enough see your mark like two hours should be enough lastly guys somebody says giving adamu two weeks to resolve our two strikes is like giving vigilante two weeks to resolve insecurity in nigeria you put it even calm down this is the president you need to respect him huh you need to respect him okay next up guys a lot of people underrated how rich comedians are in africa you see this mark angel comedy guy this guy is super rich look at how his house looks like okay that's on the side but see this hilarious video and see the reply mark angel gave his cute daughter daddy this is not what i want well i keep it keep this one look he, me and your mom when we were dating you are not what we wanted we still kept you Jesus. <laughs> This country, eh? This country, where are we going to? CBN have vowed to arrest any Nigerian buying dollars with Naira. The Central Bank of Nigeria have vowed to arrest and prosecute Nigerians using Naira to buy dollars. The CBN governor in a quote says on Tuesday at the MPC meeting, for those taking money from banks to buy dollars, it is illegal to do so. If the security agencies hold you, you will know the implication of that. Godwin Emifili. Are you trying to threaten us? Are you threatening us? I'm just joking, you know. Of course, I don't know. The dollar is really crazy to a right now. I think it's above 600. And I don't want to say this is a failed government, but let's see what Nigerians have to say. First, is that says, on oh, I no get handwork again. Like, are you guys less busy? Fix this. Don't threaten people. Another is that says, after destroying things, they will look for who to blame. This is Nigeria, by the way. The last, another is that says, these ones are running colo mental. Naira no get value, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it, sweetheart. I call you a CBN governor, sweetheart. Ah, okay, continue. And that's it on the news, guys. Peace.